Hey guys, I am back with another haul and I have a super exciting beauty haul for you in this big, big black box. And I placed an order from Net à Porter, Porter, no, oh my lord, um, let's just say Net à Porter, um, dot com. Um, a few weeks ago and it came last week and instead of just doing um, my typical haul I thought that I would try to pro the products out and give you my first impressions as well just to mix it up a little bit and um, if you are into anything designer then you will have heard about um, netzapotel.com before and they did add a beauty department I don't know, a few few years ago, I think, um, and this is the first time ordering beauty from them. So it came in this big old box. This is the signature packaging. You can choose it free when you are checking out. It has a cute little bow. This, this is a really nice sturdy box, and I always get my orders in these boxes because they are so great for storage. So let's just get the lid off. And it's a bit of a mess now because, of course, I've had everything out and tried it. But it comes, I mean, there was more. This, like, nice black um, tissue paper. And then it is all just in there. And let's, let's do makeup first because that is always exciting. And then we will do skincare because I got both. I went... I went crazy, okay? Um, so I got some things from Char Char Ugh. Uh, Charlotte Tilbury. I'd never tried anything from Charlotte Tilbury before and I was super excited. Um, so of course I had to get like her number one product, the Filmstar Bronze and Glow Palette. And it comes in this really cute packaging and okay, look. You pull off the sides. And then it unwraps so, and there it is. And I was so pleasantly surprised at how heavy this feels. Um, and it looks oh, just so glam, so gorgeous. Um, I think this part is metal, but I think uh, what's around is plastic. So you've probably all seen this before. And it looks like this. It has a highlighter side, a side and then a sculpt side. Um, they are both, I think it says 16 grams, so I'm get, guessing they're 8 grams each. So that's a pretty decent size. And then before I talk about it, um, I wanted to show you this as well. I did get the brush that goes with it. It is the powder and sculpt brush. And it's kind of like... It's quite dense, it has a little dome, it's kind of fluffy, but it's still pretty stiff. So I did use these together today for the very first time. Um, first of all, let's talk about the highlight side. I really, really liked it. Yeah, you can see it a little bit on camera, I think. I did use this for both sides. I think this is really nice for highlighting. Just like boop, boop, boop. I really liked it. And then I did use this on the sculpt side as well. I don't know if I'll be doing that in the future. Um, I don't even know how well it shows up because this is pretty darn natural. I don't know if it's buildable or not. Yeah, yeah, I think you can see it. Um, I did really like it. It's very natural. It's not like... It's pretty natural compared to what I usually do, but I do really like it. The powders went on super nicely. Felt really good. Like, mm, I don't know. I like it. It's natural. I don't know if this will work for... Um, or how well it will work for darker skin tones. I don't know if it's buildable or not, um, I don't know, maybe I'll try out and building it. And then I bet you guys will be seeing more about these in uh, probably a favorites video. Um, and then also from Charlotte Tilbury I decided to pick this up. This is the, well just the makeup pouch, it is in a canvas type fabric and it has these little lip prints and then on the back it says give a woman the right makeup and she can conquer the world which sounds about right and then it's just I think it's just one layer of canvas and it's black on the inside and I have to be I'm gonna be honest I do think this is super cute I think it's a nice size for my amount of makeup for travel but honestly I think this was like 18 or 19 euros and I don't know, like, 
Mm, that's expensive for like just a little canvas bag. So, um, but that's Charlotte Tilbury. I'm super excited about finally trying it out. And then I did also get a hourglass blush. I had never tried this before. These are obvious. This is obviously a ambient lighting blush. And I did get the color Incandescent Electra. This just became permanent. This was the limited edition color in the blush palette that came out like for holidays last year and this was the only one well this was the one that I wanted the most I've been super excited about trying these out and uh, and it's just a beautiful like not sure if I'm gonna say coral I don't know if it even shows up um these are pretty light doesn't really show up in the viewfinder but maybe you'll be able to see it um I don't know how well it shows on my face because I am wearing it today well, it shows in the viewfinder. Um, it didn't like really stand out in the mirror, so I think this will definitely be best for lighter skin tones. But I really like that it's kind of glowy and like luminous, like like the ambient lighting powders. I do really like those, and I don't know, I really like it. But I'm not I'm not hundred percent sure about the like sheerness. You will definitely either be hearing about this in a favorites video or a regrets video. But I'm excited to try it out more. I do think the color is gorgeous. Especially now for summer. I'm In summer I'm always like going for more coral orange type blush. And lips. I've got more orange lips to buy. So let's do skincare. Um, let me first just show you this. This is from the brand Lancer. Um, and this is... Their like skincare range is called the Method, and this is a polish. So it is an exfoliant, and it is a ginorm. It comes in this blue tube. Um, I think Dr. Lancer is Kim Kardashian's um, dermatologist, and I never heard about this brand until I got a sample of this um, when it was not like September or something, and it was like. Love at first use. I really love this and it had been a while now that I got it and it had been a while since I finished um, the sample one and I used it on Sunday and it's just like It is expensive, but it makes my skin so smooth. It's like I couldn't even make this stuff up it is so smooth and nice and I really love this um they do have one for sensitive skin as well. Maybe I should have tried that one out, but they didn't have it at uh, Nette Voltaire. And then I think there's one for like oily. It does, that's not what it's called. But I think there are three word, versions of this, and this is just the like regular one. I think this, I'm like, I haven't noticed anything. I do have sensitive and dry skin, but it has worked very well for me so far. I'm probably going to try the sensitive one next. But if, even if you have sensitive skin, I think it will be safe to pick this up and like... <sighs> I'll, I'll be talking more about this in the future because it is a maze and this tube is obviously going to last me forever. This is like at least a year in this. I do not exfoliate my face very often. Um, and then I've got three products from SK2, and I've just been loving SK2. You guys know that I, have, uh, that I am a La Mer girl at heart, but I did try um, SK2 for the first time this fall, and I've run out of everything, and it was time for more. So I did repurchase this set. This is the SK2 Patera Essence set. So I got the set because I wanted to get this as a smaller, smallest size of the facial treatments treatment essence. This is they're like a number one thing. Um, I don't know how it does what it does. I don't, not even sure what it even does. But it is really great. So I think this is an anti-aging type water thing, but um, it also helps the skincare lay layer over it work better. I don't even know, but I'm loving this stuff. I did love it um, back well, this back in the fall as well. And um, so this is the um, small size bust. I think it's your in Europe. It's like five. Um, five euros more to get the set than to just get the size, but I think in the US this one alone costs the exact same one as the little essence set. So definitely pick up the set if you want to try out this. 
Um, and this set that almost also comes with one facial treatment mask. This is a sheet mask. I haven't tried this yet. And then it comes with this little guy. This is 30 ml or one fluid ounce of the facial uh, treatment clear lotion. So I'm not sure if this is a toner. Um, I think it's a toner and I use it as a toner. Um, and I've really been liking this. Um, I just love loved it back then. I, I don't know. It's a really good toner. So good that I got the full size one. And then I'll just use a small one for travel and such. And then the full size is 150 ml, it's 5 fluid ounce. It comes in this really nice glass bottle. It's super heavy. It is it is as untravel friendly as possible. So it's good. I got the little bottle as well. But I don't know. I thought that since it's called the Facial Treatment Clear Lotion, I was wondering maybe if it, if, if it may be more for like oily or breakout skin. But I have sensitive skin. And I've just been loving it. It's a really, really nice toner. And it's it's a bit cheaper than the La Mer toner, which I had been using. And then I also got a serum, and this is the Illumination Aura Bright. And I think this may be the American version, because I've heard there are different versions of this. But this is what it looks like. I had heard about this from um, Ray, who has the, her YouTube channel is Reviewer. She uses a lot of SQ2, and I think she's the reason why I want to try it out in the first place. Well, no, I've always wanted to try it out, but why I took the plunge. So, this is an illuminating essence. It's a brightening essence. Um, and this is the smallest size, this is the 30 mil. And I really want to try this out because I had wanted to get the... Um, LeBlanc, the Chanel, uh, LeBlanc, the La Mer, um, serum from La Mer, uh, but this one in the same size is about half price, at least um, in Europe. So I thought I would try this out, and you know what, it is very brightening. Well, not very, but I've been using it for a week, and I've had some like acne scarring around here. Um, that's like one of my big problems, that it takes a lifetime for an acne, uh, for a zit type, um, Red, the redness in the scar to go away takes like a year. Um, I've been using this for one week um, today and I did notice, I've noticed a difference already with that. Um, I haven't really noticed a difference any like with anything else. But that's well, that, that's like the main reason that I want to try it because I wanted to clear up that scarring. And I've been using it twice a day except um, for right after exfoli for exfoliating. Um, I try not to use too many like harsh products on my face right after exfoliating it. Um, I think the biggest difference from the um, Le Blanc de la Mer serum is that that does more. I feel like all the La Mer serums um, are kind of moisturizing and like nourishing and you just kind of like, mm, it, they feel super, super nice. Um, but this one kind of dries and absorbs right away. Um, I think I heard um, Ray talk about how she felt this was a little bit drying. I have not noticed that, um, but it is the summer so my skin isn't isn't as dry as usual um, but I really do like the brightening effect if you have very dry skin maybe you want to try out the La Mer one um, if not like I do definitely recommend this so far after just a week I think that's super good you can see a difference in a week actually I saw a difference in like only a few days so that is impressive. You definitely get what you paid for, um, which is like the reason I love fancy brands of skincare. So that is it for my haul. I think I think that was a lot, um, <laughs> but I'm super excited. I hope you like that. Um, I think this was a different type of haul. Um, uh, maybe I'll try doing some. Of this type of haul, even though it means that they will be longer than just a regular hey like a mustache haul. Um, but that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will link everything um, in in the down bar down below. Um, thank you guys for watching. As always, I love it when you watch my videos. That does sound kind of weird, but whatever is true. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and please give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys soon for my next video. I hope you're having a good day so far. 
So, bye!